Okay, this is uh, exam six, um, problem, or exam six review, problem three. Um, so 56 students were given a test out of 40 marks. Um, then the teacher used this box and whisker plot to represent the marks of the students. So remember that the box and whiskers plots has um, five characteristic numbers, including the min and the max. Okay, min, max, okay. And then the median is the middle vertical line. So it's just the third vertical line out of five, this one here in the middle of the box. On the left and right side of the box, we have Q1 and we have Q3. Okay. Min, max. Okay, now let's see what they're going to ask. Let's also remember that um, between this, the min and the median, we obviously have 50% of the people. And between the median and the max, we also have 50% of the people. Now remember that Q1 is the midpoint between min and median. Q3 is the midpoint between median and max. And when I say midpoint, I don't mean distance-wise. I mean the number of people between min and Q1 is the same number as the number of people between Q1 and median. And me the same number of people between median and Q3, same number of people between Q3 and max. So like... Um, so if there's X people here, there's X people here, X people here, X people here, okay? So, um, the median mark, okay, is, we already marked it here, it's 30, right? The 75th percentile mark, now we haven't done any problems with percentile, but, uh, percentile, um, is the number, uh, when you mark, uh, a position on the box and whiskers, Anything to the left of that would be included in the percentage of the percentile. So the 75th percentile mark would be the mark where 75% of the people are uh, to the left of that mark. Okay, so it's basically the same thing as saying Q3. Okay, 75, 75th percentile is the same thing as Q3. Okay, so uh, let's see, where is Q3? Q3 is here. It's about uh, 32. Okay, if you look... Uh, it's uh, clearly 32 actually. Okay, so 32 is Q3. The range of marks. So the range, if you remember, the range is equal to the max minus the min, and the max is 38, and the min is 10. So 38 minus 10 equals 28. So the range is 28. Estimate the number of students who achieved a mark greater than 32. Um, okay, so 32 is here, and coincidentally, it's not such a coincidence, actually. Whenever they make these problems, it's they purposefully do this. 32 is also what characteristic number? Well, it's Q3. And we know that between Q3 and max, there's 25% of the people, right? So estimate the number of students who achieved a mark greater than 32. Well, we know it's 25% of the people. So what's 25% of the total number of students? Total number of students is 56, okay? So 25% times 56, and the answer is 14. All right, so that wasn't too hard either, right?